Those images are just unbelievable. And as soon as the tornado moved out, volunteers moved in. WHO 13's Teodora Mitov shows us how neighbors rallied to help the community. Debris, fallen trees, and no power. Just what some residents living in Pleasant Hill woke up to Saturday morning after a tornado ripped through the western part of the city. It was really loud, like really loud. That's pretty terrifying. I mean, to be honest, because you don't know like just how much damage it's going to do. We uh, ran down to the basement and we weren't down there 30 seconds and we just heard a, a big whoosh, you know, and a boom, boom, boom in like five seconds. And we thought, hey, it missed us. <laughs> And so we waited another 10 minutes or so, came up and saw the damage to our property. Eight of Baron Geiger's trees toppled over on his property, but he said his home received minimal damage. However, not all residents were that lucky. The Pleasant Hill Fire Department confirmed that 18 homes had severe damage. I didn't think that I was going to come out to the devastation that I did. I thought it, it was just wind. Um, but it was it was pretty scary. And despite all of this debris, police say only one person and one large animal were injured. I was just hoping that like the roof wasn't going to come flying off and that we were really safe in the space that we were in. But just hours later, the community was already coming together. Around 30 people came to Baron Geiger's home to clean up the fallen trees. I figured I'd come out and help and see what we can do to help him out. And he uh, runs the church right up the road and we go there and it's a great little community so we figured we'd come out and help them. East side comes together. Everybody comes together in a time of tragedy but we do come together and it's the best thing in the whole world. In Pleasant Hill, Tito Armitov, WHO 13 News.